Let's find the molar mass for H2C2O4. This is oxalic acid. So when we find the molar mass for something like oxalic acid here, when we go to the periodic table, first we're going to look up hydrogen. Hydrogen, that's 1.01, and the units are grams per mole. I won't write that now. Let's write that at the end. We have two hydrogen atoms, so we're going to multiply that by two. Then for carbon, we have carbon right here, 12.01 units, grams per mole, we have two carbon atoms. Multiply that by two. And then oxygen right here, 16.00 grams per mole. We multiply that by four since we have four oxygen atoms. So we'll multiply 1.01 times two, then 12.01 times two, 16.00 times four, and then we'll add those numbers all up. When we do that, we end up with a molar mass of 90. 0 0.04, and now we can write the units in here, grams per mole. My periodic table, it rounds to two decimal places. So if your periodic table is different, you might get a slightly different answer out here. This number, what it means is if you have 90.04 grams of H2C2O4, oxalic acid, that's going to be one mole. If you have one mole of oxalic acid, it'll have a mass of 90.04 grams. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for H2C2O4, oxalic acid. Thanks for watching.